I think I think this year is is a cornerstone of uh, the ch big changes. For decades, we're talking about uh, rasterizer. It's hardware accelerated, and now we have uh, coming up with an API where you can actually do uh, ray tracing. Um, and I think this is going to be a big thing. So. First, rasterizer, uh, as all you know, or you're just dealing with triangles, you're sending your vertices, and inside your vertex program, actually you're uh, projecting them on the screen space. And, and the hardware is filling those pixels. Then after that, um, the fragment shader will be involved. So over years, things has not really changed, except that you're having all this, uh, the what was a fixed function pipeline has been programmable. So you have vertices, tessellations, and, and the raster is, is the thing that uh, fills up all your, the pixels on, on screen, and then uh, the fragment gets called. There's other pieces that can be involved as well, but basically this is the rasterizer. In a ray tracing, it's different. So instead of uh, uh, the triangle being projected on the screen, you're actually trying to find where that triangle. So actually, we're taking the position from the eye, sending a ray through a pixel, and try to find the triangle underneath it. And that's how we actually project and shade that pixel. The nice thing about uh, ray tracing is um, when you send a ray, it hits the closest triangle and just returns that. You don't have to sort it out. And that will just return uh, the closest triangles on the array. So what happens when you have a lot of triangles in your scene? You can have like millions of triangles. So how can this get fast? It just doesn't go and shoot array and start testing against like the, the thousands and millions of triangles. So what happens and what you need is an acceleration structure. So basically, uh, you have a big bonding box around all your uh, objects in the scene. And um, one algorithm will be to split that box in half, left, right, uh, top, bottom, uh, front, back. And it's going to do this again and again and again until the box contains just a few triangles, just a, a, a small numbers of triangles, where then it's fast enough to test against uh, those triangles. So basically, when we're starting to shoot a ray, it traverses the tree over here, and then finds the box that contains the triangle, and will return you the closest one. 